Hello and welcome to today's video. Today we are here playing NASCAR 2005 Chase for the Cup, continuing our fight to the top career mode. And today we are here for episode number 28. And uh, let's see what we got going on. So we are, of course, doing select truck series starts. If you guys remember that. Uh, we're not doing every truck race. Um, let's see Atlanta. What? How many laps are at Atlanta? Ten laps. You know what? We're gonna make a. We're gonna make our truck start today. Um, trucks. We're only doing select races to earn money. Obviously, our goal of this career mode is to win the championship in all the career mode or all the series, but also get ourselves in a spot to own a team and of course our first team we're trying to own we're trying to save four million and start with a cup team make money from that and then work our way basically in reverse uh, down to owning a truck team that's kind of what I'm thinking in my mind so we got to get four million dollars to get to the cup series right now we're we're approaching our first million uh, but we're not there yet Again, with the goal to win on every single series, as well, you know, I'm not running Modifieds anymore. I'm done with Modifieds. I did one season. I got my championship. Trucks, again, I got a championship. We're good. But, you know, I, I, I opted in to do a few truck starts. Basically, so I could go to short tracks, road courses... Things that I know I'm good at. But Atlanta's a mile and a half that I feel... I feel pretty good about racing. So... I uh, I want to come out here and... You know, race race a track I feel like I can win. Um, that, that's kind of what I'm doing. I'm doing, you know, like a lot of drivers... From higher levels of NASCAR do now. They make select starts in certain series. It's a track they like or... A team they like racing for or something like that. All right, when you see that with uh, Ross Chastain and, you know, the, the truck series, he goes down to that. Obviously, he's a cup driver, but he races for, you know, Nice. He's always raced for that team, so he does a few races for them each year. And typically, their tracks, you know, that he probably is good at. So, I mean, you see that Kyle Busch does his races in the truck. So, I'm kind of doing that same thing. I'm running that. Of course, I could have committed to do a full season, but I don't need to go for the championship. I mean, obviously, the game doesn't. But I'm not necessarily going to do everything. I'm not going to spend time doing Daytona, doing Talladega, doing Texas. Like, I mean, if the truck turns out to be really, really good here, I mean, that could change. We could run for that championship. We'll see kind of where we're at. I don't think I've missed many truck races, so. Ah, oh, fuck. can't look back and see how much damage I did. Can I do this, though? Uh, there's some damage. I don't think it's terrible. You clip the grass a little bit. That's unfortunate because you know, this is a flying lap here. This is a timed lap. So that spin, obviously. Curtis, I was just trying to get as much as I could. And, uh, got on the grass and lost it of course uh, that's gonna hurt us a little bit this is the series that matters right we do need to go out here and run them out and you know, we we had not the best results at Las Vegas in the last video Las Vegas was not fun to say the least so Tenth isn't bad, considering I hit the wall. I probably could have went for a top five. That's brilliant. I'm glad to know that we have a solid car. If I can keep it out of the wall, keep from spinning, which I could not do at Las Vegas. Um, so let's see what we got. So I tried to pick a truck team that gave me a decent amount of money. 
and a decent amount of uh, speed in our truck. I, I kind of had to balance it. I think I picked a good team. The truck series is well known for its door to door wheel. All right. This is a quick race, it's only 10 laps. So let's go out here and you know, try and earn ourselves a uh, truck series win. Not a brilliant start. Huh. Truck did not take off well on the restart. Let's see once we get the thing wound up. Oh, yeah, we're good. We're, we're reeling back in. We just needed to get the truck wound up and going. That's interesting to know for late. You know, late in the race here, if we get a, uh, you know, whether that be a caution or just, ooh, restarting on, you know, pits, pit stops. So. It's good to know. Bill Lester's not going to be too happy with that move. Okay, buddy. You know, I got into you, you got into me. We're good. We're good. We are good. We are good, fam. The important thing to keep in mind for these truck races is it does not matter about points here. We're not here for points. We are here to win the race. That is all we want to do. We want to cross that line first. Again, if we get some solid results in the truck series, we could always hop in and decide to run for the championship, but I just don't, I don't think so. That's not really on my mind at the moment. It's a second truck championship. I'm here to gain wins, gain a little bit of money at tracks that I am confident in. Now, we do have trucks pitting. And again, I think right after, you know, once we hit lap six, I think we just come in pit. Uh, we'll see how tires are looking in two laps. Now, if we get a message, tires are worn, we start sliding, but I'm not doing four, I'm telling you that much. If anything, I'm doing right sides or maybe even no tires. I don't think 10 laps at Atlanta is going to hurt at this track. This is not late into the repave, or late into the, uh, the pavement life cycle of Atlanta, right? This is Atlanta five years after repave. Was it repaved in 2000? Is it 2000 or 1999? So something like that. It's only, you know, a few years into it. So. Tires are not crucial. Compared to if this is Atlanta when we played on NASCAR 5. You need tires by lap 6. All right, so we got the low fuel message. We'll go one more lap. Very low fuel. We'll come in. Right rear is worn. Tires are worn. We're going to pit at 7, come out at 8, 9, 10. I think we're good. I think we're good on tires. Don't speed and give it away. Uh, let's do right side tires. Because it's going to take as much time to fuel the truck. So. Oh my god. say we've gotten pretty lucky with pit mistakes so I can't be too upset about it and again I think most of the trucks did four tire stops so we still were faster even with that mistake yeah we got a two second gap here that is good that's manageable Again, we had to come out and deal with the slow start there. You see him come out of the pits. For whatever reason, this truck doesn't have 
the greatest launch. So coming up through the gears, I think it struggles, whatever, maybe the gear ratio um, that we have, whatever the game has given me. I'm going to be honest, I don't really mess with setups because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I'm going to just make it worse. Like, I have some knowledge of it, but I don't know what I'm going to do to make a truck better. <laughs> right? Like... I have a mess with that stuff to understand it. Sure, I could study it and understand it, but I haven't. So here we go. Atlanta, pretty good win. Pretty dominant. I think it was a good choice to come to Atlanta for the truck series. Okay, let's not get on the apron and spin it now. Good choice to come to Atlanta for the truck series. First truck start of the season, get the W. Now, we need to come out here and recreate that performance. So, yeah, we ended up getting uh, 11,000 from our contract and 5,000 from the race. So, I think we get about half of whatever the race winning is. Uh, and then merchandise income. So, let's see, are you gonna, hello screen, you gonna unfreeze my recording, there we go, we're back, boom confetti, yeah, awesome, Ryan Newman here, Ryan Newman you're a bum, I don't even know who that is. All right, 26 laps of Atlanta. So we just did 10 with the truck. So we got to go to 26 now with this cup car. I hope the recording didn't glitch out too bad. I hope you can still at least hear what I'm saying. Of the next top. That's really all that matters. If you can hear me in a second, the screen is showing numbers but then the truck series again oh my god what the hell what the hell get up to speed come on you bum Alright, it kind of did, I think, the same as the, um, the truck did. Really just a slow start here. We managed to avoid spinning and going back up in front of the field and having a bad day. Uh, that's obviously something we want to avoid here. Because, again, we are going for the championship in the... Nextel Cup Series. Again, the Truck Series, it's whatever. Uh, but this is when we're going for the championship. We need to make the chase. That's what's key, so we got to be top 10 at points after the 26th race. You know, it's not the, the playoffs now where I just win and I'm in. At that point, I would be good. Oh, my God. I flipped Scott Riggs over. Uh, that was that was bad. I kind of just got locked on. I couldn't really do anything. Wow. Oh, and then Jeff Burton hit it. I kind of slid up the track and got stuck on his door. I said I got locked to him. I couldn't really couldn't do anything. Jimmy Johnson kind of got sent in that as well. Um, I'm gonna say no to pitting. We're going to have an issue here on the restart. We're going to fall back. Bobby the Bonnie's definitely going to get by us. And probably Ricky Rudd as well. We'll see what we can do through this corner. But I mean, look at that just amount that we fall off. Oh my god. 
Look at the amount that we just fall off on the race start. That is insane. Oh my god. Oh my god. Get off the apron, you idiot. Wow. The amount that this thing just like sinks at the start. Holy shit. I mean, I know I put on the apron and slid and really cost myself more time, but even then, like. I, I don't think I should have fell back that hard. We got a long ways to get to the front now. We need just a green flag race. That's that's the thing. We can't afford a restart. We can't afford to crash. Because again, I think our car is quick enough. All right, 20 laps. Let's lock the fuck in and go. Again, I think our car is fast enough. We just need to not slide. I'm pitting under caution. I don't know if anybody else is. I don't care what anybody else does. So I'm pitting. I'm actually going to add wedge. Normally I take wedge out and make my cars looser. This thing is just complete shit. Like, it feels quick enough. But I just, I can't do anything. Like, I just gone through every corner. Sliding, and I don't even want to get on the apron. I'm just taking a corner and then boom, I'm on the apron. I'm not trying to go there, obviously. But, like, I can't help it. The car goes on the apron. All right. And I didn't need a caution. I really didn't. I don't want a caution. I don't want to be back here. Ugh. All right. It feels like the added wedge has helped the drifting issue. Because we kind of had that from the start. I mean, I can't say it wasn't there in qualifying. It definitely was, but I feel like we've at least helped it a little bit here. We'll see when we start catching these guys and passing them, when tires start to wear out, uh, how all that goes, and hopefully we didn't tighten it up too much to not turn, which is a concern of mine now. As we enter these corners, I'm definitely a little concerned that I might have done a little too much. Again, we can go back on it if we need to. This is just the issue of being stuck in the traffic, though. We took... I mean, just in general, like, this thing does not have a good launch. There's nothing I can... I can't adjust out of that. Um, unfortunately, we're just so far back. Um, and, I mean, it literally took three laps to even... Why are you blocking me so hard, dude? What the fuck? Why are you going up so high up the track? Like, I'm trying to stay off you. Just keep running me in the goddamn wall. Holy shit. I made up three positions. I know I can't make it on fuel to the end. That's a bit frustrating. Because again, we're going to have to pit. And we're probably going to fall back again. But.
here are a bunch of guys that don't like me, so just try to try and stay away. It's Burton, it's Wimmer. We've got Newman who absolutely hates me. Mark Warren's not too big of a fan of me. Uh, Robbie Gordon, not too big of a fan of me after that incident. I didn't even mean to hit you though, dude. Scott Riggs, not too happy. Richard Craven, not too happy. Uh, David Gilliland, not too happy. Any of the ones that numbers follow it, basically, not too happy. Jeff Gordon coming off the pits, not too happy. Bro, what the fuck? I don't even know. I just drifted up and couldn't get off. That's whack as hell. I swear, if bro just like goes in front of me. Just to sit awesome. Five points out of that. It's way too tight now. Way too tight. The second lap in a row that I've just gone into the wall. Essentially just on my own. So we were halfway on fuel. On lap 14. So I'm up a lap on everyone. That is good. Let's just stay out here as long as possible and see what the game brings us fuel-wise, tire-wise. Let's just see. We'll see what it runs out to. Uh, we will pit, you know, eventually. But we'll just see. What do we need for tires? What do we need? Because, I mean, if I only need to go three laps, I can just come in and do, uh, you know, like a, a splash of fuel. Splash of fuel and go but we'll see if there's like six laps to go it's not happening but if we can go in at least on like if we can stretch it to 21 I'll be happy that's my target pit on lap 21 uh, again we are a lap ahead of the field so we're not in the worst spot. To say the least. We're not in the best spot, though, either. Mm. We got very low fuel there. I think we can bring it around one more time. Oh, that's going to be a risk. All right, if you want to run out, you can run out now. Cool, 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 cool. I'm good with that. I am good with that. Enter pit road. There, we're going to replace right side tires. Don't repair damage. 1.5 cans. Go down and turn a wedge. Five 
I don't need a full can. I don't need two cans of fuel. We need a good pit stop here. Come on. All right, we are away. Lovely. It is not the race. Oh my god, you're fucking kidding. Oh. You're joking. Oh my god, you're kidding me. Didn't we have the same shit happen at Rockingham, my pit? With a lap advantage, and then the caution came out? Ah. Uh, you hate to see it. That's so frustrating. I mean, here at Atlanta, it doesn't matter. The car won't take off. But I think this adds to it. Oh my god. It's also frustrating because I made a strategy call, two tires. We were able to come out, not with the lead, but with, you know, third place. Very happy about it. And, you know, get the restart. This thing will not launch on a restart. Can we go up there and make some noise for the lead, though, with the last lap? Potentially, even though we're drifting. I don't think going for the win is out of the question yet. It's going to be difficult. We are gaining. We are underneath Jimmy Johnson. We're almost there to Jeff Gordon. No. Damn. Oh, if I didn't have such a bad restart. Oh, that's so frustrating. Fuck. I got so far behind for so long. <sighs> That's annoying. Listen, we'll take second, though. Um, it didn't look like we were going to get a second place finish for a while. Um, we will take it. We will take it. I don't know why Kurt Busch is so mad at me. But um, either way, I hope you guys enjoyed. And we'll be back next week for another episode. Another fantastic uh, showdown. Let's see what we can do then.